It's Friday and I'm messing around with stuff. So, in front of me I've got an ESP32 CF C3FH4-RGB. It's an ESP32 with a RISC-V CPU on it. Let's just get that in focus. Yeah, let's get some light on it. There we go. Nice little board. Got it for a few quid from AliExpress. It's been in the bits box, not much chance to play with it. Uh, so today I've got some time to play with it, so I thought, right, micro Python, let's get that working. So Someone's done all the work for me, Andy Piper. Thank you very much. Cracking job, detailed the entire process. Really good, and so, I've got it working. So right now, simple script, uh, turn it on, it connects to Wi-Fi, and if it shows three green flashes on the 5x5 NeoPixels here, then it's got a connection, and it also prints something to the terminal. If it all goes wrong, I get three flashes of red. Reset buttons around the back. Let's reset that. Okay, and go on green. There's the green, and there we go. Big Les P in ASCII, and we're connected to the internet with this. Really easy. And it's got just here a STEM QT connection, a quick connection, or QWST connection for Pimeroni uh, accessories. So I can plug in loads of different sensors. Playtime. See you later. Hello, right, I've been hacking around with the ESP32, the RISC-V CPU that I got from AliExpress, and I've remade something. So three years ago, I used a Wemos D1, an ESP8266, to make a weather station. It was a cloud that had an 8x8 NeoPixel uh, matrix inside it that lit up. This has got a 5x5 NeoPixel matrix on it. This is a weather station. Admittedly, it gets all the data from Open Weather Maps API, but that's fine. I can plug in sensors if I want, but just for right now, it's a weather station. Okay, let's show it working. So I'm going to reset the board. This is where the demo horribly dies. Also, banana for scale. It's going to go through a startup sequence. Three green flashes means it's connected to Wi-Fi. Disco lights, because disco lights are cool. This runs for a little bit, then it's going to go to open weather map, use my API key, pull the data as JSON, and then show it as an icon. And it is cloudy. I'll look out the window. One sec. It's cloudy, but it's sunny. There we go. That's the first test done. It's taken a little while to tweak the NeoPixel brightness and also a few issues with my brain not getting into the Pythonic way. Just for a little while. But yeah, it works. It's a weather station. Also, banana for scale. Anyway, see ya. Right, another video. I'm testing animations. Yes, animations. So if it ever rains, which it never does in the UK, ever. Ever, ever. Same startup sequence, flashing green, connected to Wi-Fi, disco mode, because disco is cool. There we go. I do like the subtle light on that. It's nice. And we should see some rain in a second. There we go. Very simple animation. Just say that it's raining. It's not. It's actually quite sunny today. There we go. Cheers. Okay. It's working. Everything's working. He says after it just failed. Anyway. This is a test of the fail state. So we're going to connect it to Wi-Fi. It's not going to get any API data from Open Weather Map. It's going to fail because I've t told the code to not do that. So it's going to show what happens when it can't get any data. So three green flashes connect to Wi-Fi. There we go, disco mode. And after this, normally if we get weather, we'd show the icon for the weather. But if it fails, we get a red animation, like an X and a plus. So sort it of makes it look like it's spinning. There we go. That's the fail mode, it does that 10 times. Then the loop goes into a 10 second wait for the demo. Then goes into the loop again and starts it all over again. But yeah, we have a weather station pulling live data from Open Weather Maps API. If I wanted to, I could connect up a DHT11 or DSB, sorry, DS18B20 or any other weather sen sensor you can think of. I could get real time data to compare against. But I'm happy with this. Cheers. 